कृषि विपणन आ रोगा संबंधित महतिपूर्ण वीडियो बढ़नेस कॉटन गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल सब्स्क्राइब करा आ नवीन वीडियो बढ़नेस बेल आयकॉन व्लिक करा uh invite our first speaker mr kai huges from icac the executive director um most welcome mr kai thank you manish and uh, good evening india <laughs> good evening on on behalf of the indians how are you doing kai i'm well i'm very well i'm delighted to see so many friends on the call um it's been really good to be uh, able to speak to you in india and uh, and also to you manish you know we we're, we're very proud of our cooperation our mou with you and uh, and we're also very proud of all the projects that icac does in india to help small farm holders particularly around the cultivation of organic cotton which you've um, which you've mentioned and um i don't know if you know but we we've just got a tv crew that landed this morning in india to film our virtual reality training and uh, dr keshav kranthi is on his way today to india so india is very much in my focus at the moment especially as you've managed to um put a quarantine on all brits so that meant unfortunately <laughs> i'm not able to attend and come to india but all of my non british staff are able to go and uh, and i'm sure they're enjoying it they've already sent me pictures of beautiful beaches and sun and i'm here in england in the cold and the wet so sorry to have missed you and we have welcome uh, your team here i have spoken to dr kranti and he will be staying for over a month and sure we will be meeting him very shortly and best wishes to you and your team right so uh, mr kai the topic for today the importance of world cotton day you have been advocating that since a long time the uns agreed since 2019 and again reconfirmed it what is the importance of world cotton day okay well let me share then a presentation and uh, we can uh, explain all of that to everyone sure mm. he says he's got to find the presentation at first <laughs> help uh, no problem we have a backup if uh, there is an issue no 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 it's just i've got too many things open on my on my screen um so uh, let's have a look Uh, come on there it is maybe maybe no it's not there it's the screen um okay here i found it yes there it is okay Great. so let me go let me get going most welcome so okay so um as i said manish thank you very much indeed for allowing me to say a few words um about world cotton day and i suppose really to officially launch world cotton day um here in england which is at the towards the beginning of the day and um i'm pretty sure you've been celebrating it for most of the day so i suppose the, the first question that um we everyone wants to know is what is world cotton day what's it all about well this is most probably the most important day in the cotton calendar why because now we have a day to celebrate the 7th of october one day each year to concentrate our efforts and to celebrate the importance of cotton and all that is good about cotton a day to celebrate and recognize the cotton community throughout the world whether you're a small farm holder in chad or india or a cotton textile worker in bangladesh or a retailer or brand that recognizes the unique qualities of the world's most popular natural fiber it's also a day for opportunity an opportunity for stakeholders from across the global cotton community to come together to educate our target audiences on the many advantages of cotton from its qualities as a sustainable natural fiber to the many uses as a byproduct to the many benefits it provides to people across the globe from its production transformation trade and consumption world cotton day was created to show the positive impact cotton has now and will continue to have in the future and to increase demand for cotton amongst end users 
Well, cotton touches our lives more than we might think. So it's critical that we know exactly who we're targeting with the World Cotton Day Initiative and what we hope to achieve by engaging them. To be successful, we need October the 7th to be a day that will reach and influence all stakeholders in the supply chain, from growers all the way through to retailers, as well as a number of important groups outside the supply chain, such as government officials, activists, and journalists. Whilst it's important for the global cotton community to celebrate together, together it's also important to remember that we are the converts. We're the ones that already love cotton and that our efforts are designed to reach and educate everyone outside of the cotton supply chain. But even though we may think we know all about cotton, I have been amazed how much I have learned about this wonderful plant every single year that I've been in this job. For example, last year, I discovered that co the cotton plant helps mitigate climate change, and you touched on that in your opening remarks. It sequests more carbon dioxide out of the air than it actually puts in it. And whilst we may all know that the cotton seed is used to make cattle feed and cotton, and cotton oil for cooking and making soap and soap powder, did you also know that cotton is used in the making of banknotes or is in fireworks or that cellulose from cotton is used in many everyday products from lipstick to even condoms. It's an amazing, sustainable, natural fiber and one which can be reused and returned to the earth, unlike synthetic fibers. So whatever product you make, there's a circular path ahead when you make it with cotton. So how did it all start? Well, in 2018, the ICAC put forward a proposal to the WTO to hold a World Cotton Day. The proposal was embraced by the WTO and the key UN agencies that are shown on this screen. And the first ever World um, Cotton Day was held at the World Trade Organization headquarters in Geneva in 2019. And what a day it was to remember. It, more than 800 people turned up and made that journey to Switzerland, including a dozen minister level government officials. There was a huge fashion show and there were floors and floors of displays and exhibits with many countries reserving spaces to show off their cotton and textile industry. And here you have the one uh, from India. And in fact, they div uh, also um, uh, presented a, a scale model of, uh, of um, Gandhi's loom to the WTO, and that's on show in the WTO headquarters. And the entire event was also tied into the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And some of the biggest and most influential businesses in the industry also threw their support behind it. Well, that was the launch in 2019. So what did we do last year? Well, it was always the intention for countries, organizations, schools, universities, and people to develop their own celebrations and to share them with the global community. Then COVID hit. But we certainly were not going to let COVID get in the way. And on October the 7th, 2020, thousands of people met in person where they could. And when they couldn't, they met online or recorded events in advance or produced written documents and even research papers. So to capture all of these events, we introduced the official World Cotton Day website at www.worldcottonday.com where you can see what other countries did last year to get ideas for the future. And we'll be doing the same for this year's events and the next year and the year after that. So hopefully, Manish, with uh, your recording this event, please upload it to worldcottonday.com so it's there for prosperity. Sure. Back to today. And um, the really big news, as you've alluded to, is that the United Nations has officially decided to recognize World Cotton Day on its permanent calendar. 
the C4 countries of Chad, Mali, Benin, and Burkina Faso, plus Cote d'Ivoire, submitted the draft resolution earlier this year. And with some support from the ICAC and its partners, we got it done. Now, the United Nations has elevated World Cotton Day to its new permanent place alongside such days as Inter International Literacy Day, World Mental Health Day, World Water Day, World Wildlife Day, and many other high profile and deserving courses. And it might just be worthwhile reminding ourselves why certain subjects deserve recognition by having a permanent day on the United Nations calendar. And this quote is on the United Nations website. World Cotton Day started as a celebration, and that is still the core point of everything that we're doing. But it is also about educating people about all that is good about cotton and to increase demand for cotton. But it is also about putting the spotlight on cotton to mobilize political will and resources to address global problems. For cotton, that means, for instance, um, using cotton to alleviate poverty, to mitigate climate change. But don't take it from me. Here are what other world leaders have said about cotton when we launched World Cotton Day in 2019. Just about everywhere humans live, cotton and its products are processed, transformed and traded. Today is only the start of a journey to promote all that is good about cotton. En répondant ainsi avec enthousiasme à l'initiative du groupe C4, Benin, Burkina Faso, Mali et Tchad, l'OMC et les institutions partenaires apportent leur précieuse caution à l'ambition légitime du groupe tendant à la consécration par l'Assemblée générale des Nations unies d'une journée mondiale comme symbole de l'importance du coton en tant que produit de base mondial. Cotton is textiles, cotton is food and energy, and cotton is also trade. On se rend compte qu'il faut évidemment travailler à pouvoir améliorer les rendements et satisfaire aux normes, qu'il faut permettre d'attirer des investisseurs et, nous l'espérons dans les prochaines conférences de l'OMC, permettre que la, les distorsions aujourd'hui connues dans le secteur puissent être euh, anéanties de manière à avoir une production qui soit plus équitable vis-à-vis -vis de l'ensemble des pays producteurs et en particulier les PMA. Le canton contribue pour plus de 10% du produit intérieur brut et reste le premier produit agricole d'exportation du Burkina Faso. Il fait vivre plus de 4 millions de personnes, contribuant ainsi fortement à la réduction de la pauvreté et à une croissance inclusive. L'impact de la filière coton sur l'autonomisation des femmes, sur l'éducation, la santé, la construction des infrastructures, la création d'emplois, la sécurité alimentaire, la modernisation de l'agriculture, les revenus fiscaux de l'État et la lutte contre la pauvreté demeurent fondamentales. Je voudrais, au nom des pays du C4, inviter l'ensemble des membres de l'OMC ainsi que les partenaires bilatéraux sous régionaux et régionaux à soutenir l'organisation chaque année de la Journée mondiale du coton qui permet de valoriser tout le potentiel de ce produit. Saúde à criação do Dia Mundial do Algodão, um marco para o diálogo e a cooperação entre todos os países e organizações com interesse comum no fortalecimento da cadeia produtiva do setor. India supports the World Cotton Day as an opportunity to recognize the significance of cotton as a global commodity and more importantly as a source of livelihood for millions of small and marginal farmers in developing nations. China always attached great importance to cotton negotiations, and we will continue to play a constructive role and work together 
with other WTO members with a will to reaching meaningful outcomes on cotton. It is my hope that World Cotton Day will become a platform to bring together the cotton trade and development communities to foster greater value addition and value capture in developing countries. So we're moving in the right direction. So let's keep pushing forward. Vive le coton. Merci à tous. Oops. So with that, uh, Manish, vive le coton. Let's get the party started. And thank you, Manish, for allowing me the opportunity to say a few words. And, uh, and also, um, my congratulations to you for everything that you're doing for cotton in India. And, uh, and we're very proud of our, our, uh, our role in trying to support you and support small farm holders in India um, in this very important uh, uh, natural fiber. Thank you. Thank you, Kai. We will do it together. And along with all of those present today, I invite all of you to be part of this mission. And um, thank you for sharing your uh, you know, journey, how you got it certified and notified. That was really interesting, Kai.